Hey everyone, welcome back to the Ultimate Hunter's Guide. Listen guys, I have to fess up, I made a pretty big mistake while recording the previous episode of this series. Uh, basically, here's the setup. I have like settings for my PC recordings and settings for my console recordings in OBS. Uh, I recorded the previous episode late at night on Sunday. Before that, I was recording Tales of Drang Lake, which is, of course, on PC. And I may have just forgot to switch back from the PC recording to the console recording. So, the recording of the previous episode looks something like this. Yeah, that's unfortunately not good. Uh, there's not much you can do with that. So, unfortunately, we have a lost episode of this series. One of the good things is that nothing major really happened. Uh, I re leveled up a couple of times and I went through the early stages of the Duke's archives, you know. Going down, escaping the cell, all that shit. Really, the most significant part of the episode was that I picked up Avalyn, which... Avalyn is on one of the bookshelves on top of it, uh, inside this place. I have... what the shit? Okay, don't do that. I have other videos, um, specifically the crossbow playthrough, where I pick up Avalyn. So, that's really the biggest loss, probably. Other than that, you just got to, like, miss out on the Duke's archives, which is fun, like... That's why I'm kind of pissed. The episode was going pretty well, and... I was like having fun and all that shit, but hey, whatever. Happens once in a while and I'm gonna be honest with you, I have not recorded on PC for like ages at this point. I've been pretty much on a console grind for the last couple of months, so yeah, that was not bound to happen, but there's a chance of it happening. Anyways, to get back on topic, we now have the rest of Duke's archives to go through. And this is the more significant place, really. And, you know, that does mean that, well, with me collecting Avalyn, that we are very close to uh, picking up all the Hunter stuff. Really, the only thing that remains is I don't have lightning arrows. Not lightning bolts, I should say. Which I sort of want to demonstrate. Isn't Sieglin supposed to be here? Bruh. I thought I advanced Ziegmeier's questline enough. Oh well. Whatever. We can always... Whoa, hello, where did you come from? We can always come back. I'm assuming these guys do not not take a lot of damage. They take a fair bit of damage from both. <laughs> it's a little bit strange. Um, so what I was saying is we are very close to getting all my stuff. We pretty much have the uh, the lightning bolts and Goths equipment remaining. We're getting to the DLC. Unfortunately, I, I am a little bit scared that I won't be able to avoid starting Lost Isolith in, a, in this episode. You guys know, I put off Lost Isolith as much as I can, because truly it's the greatest area in this game. But I don't think I'm going to be able to put it off for much longer. I want to leave the DLC last. Uh, you know what I could do? I could do the DLC prep. Actually, yeah, we could do that with the Hydra and shit, depending on how long this takes. I don't think this is going to take very long. Here's something I want to try. So you don't normally have the opportunity, yep, to do this. I don't really kill these things ever, uh, but you have 
moonlight butterflies here as you guys probably know uh, these things they drop whoa okay Oh, let me just okay that's not what i was intending to do these guys drop the higher level of uh blue titanite if you want to go down that route these ones do respawn i honestly thought they had more hp how many souls 400 really 400 that's pathetic that is pretty pathetic But yeah, I'm guessing the the real treasure from these guys is considered to be the, the Titanite they drop, which is fairly rare. Um, this is, I would say, that Blue Titanite is one of the most annoying. Oh shit! Probably one of the most annoying ones to farm because it only drops from these enemies. It's kind of weird and awkward having to fight them in this place. And you pretty much need to have magic or ranged in order for you. Oh, did the big guy fall off? I think he did. You pretty much need to have magic or ranged to be able to do this. And the issue is sometimes it drops kind of... Oh no, I think it drops in your inventory. It would be nice if one of them dropped something just so that I can test that. Shit. Did I just... I screwed up there. And you know why I screwed up? Because in this game, if you're locked on, you can only dodge in four directions. And I was trying to go to the sort of left. Forward and left was my goal. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna like not waste time trying to do that. Let's just get back there. 30k souls too, that's like something I wouldn't want to lose. So yeah, what I'll say is that was a fun experiment, but it's time to actually move on uh, to everybody's favorite crab area. Them crabs though. These are actually more like oysters or something. Oysters are good too. That, those attacks are fucked up. I just randomly said oysters are good too, without any context. It's just... Yeah, I like oysters. Man, New Orleans. Fucking fried oyster po' boy. That's some good shit. That was like probably the... Like overall best like food experience. I've had when I lived in the US, New Orleans, for sure. Because, like, you know, New York has the variety. Oh, thanks. Like, you can pretty much find any type of restaurant there. Oh, fuck. That's a lot of damage. But New Orleans is, like, very unique. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna let Seeth kill these things. Fast as fuck, too. The, the issue is, because there is no fog gate here, they can just come... I was fast enough. Cool. That's cool. God, that thing looks ridiculous. The Fury Sword, I mean. Compared to, like, the rest of my... Setup. I talked about this before, like, anime versus non-anime. And here comes this fucking thing. Oh yeah, didn't I say that I need more... I do, don't I? I talked about like I have zero curse resist. Well, now I do. I know this outfit is not the most fitting, but... We don't mind. Holy shit. That is a lot of damage. It's 
still I wanna try good damage too I was actually expecting my boat to deal like no damage or like barely any and it's doing pretty well oops see this is why you put on the dingy set that shit is pretty damn useful I do like how I didn't mention this before that the Black Ball Ferris actually has a unique animation your character kinda holds it sideways which is cool throat shot unfortunately this guy does not as far as I know take more damage from headshots and he really should oh he's dead shot him in the throat I wanted to get a headshot, but this is so big and this area is so small, it's not really possible. Yeah, he's probably the easiest. Him or Nito, I think. Uh, the four kings could at least be challenging if you don't know. No, he is definitely the easiest because Nito at least has the adds uh, early on. But this thing, pathetic. Poor Seath, just a bitch. Alright, I'm gonna go... Yeah, we're going to visit the giant because we need to shop for... We need to shop for some bolts and shit. Okay, here we go. I feel like I've like walked down and cut to me walking down this staircase so many times throughout this playthrough that it's insane. Oh yeah, speaking of... Let's put on our... Actual set, not the sorcerer stuff. Or did I have... wait, do I have the sorcerer stuff on by accident? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm stupid. My bad, my bad. Alright, crystal ember, useless. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It's useful, but useless for us. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up... No, not the giant shield, but lightning bolts. This thing is far and wide the most expensive uh, crossbow bolt in the game. And really it's meant to be used by... Well, no, you can use it with anything, but it works with Avalyn. Unfortunately, well, first of all, your character's accuracy. Let's not, let's not really talk about that. Yeah, that's how it looks. But what I found on the crossbow only challenge run that I did and believe me I have experience with this the biggest issue is oh shit I did have the sorcerer stuff on didn't I yeah I did the biggest issue is that um, what was I trying to say oh yeah lightning bolts I'm stupid because they deal split damage it actually ends up dealing a lot less damage than standard bolts on a lot of enemies. That's like the very like nature of elemental damage in this game. And especially like compared to how expensive it is, it's just not worth it. Uh, 700 per bolt, that is ridiculous. Cool, so let's go and do the Hydra stuff. Okay, so we're just gonna go to the little side area, you know. Oh yeah, you know what? This reminds me. It's been so long that I've killed Havel in one of these playthroughs. I don't even remember when the last time was. You just never need the ring. Havel's ring. Jesus. That is a lot of damage. Anyways, this should be easy. Uh... Normally the Hydra is only annoying if you try to kill him with pure melee. Plus we're pretty... Like... Advanced with this build. We're high level. Not that that matters in this game, but you know. If you, again, if you're wondering what I'm doing and why I'm coming here, I'm putting off having to go to Lost Isolith pretty heavily. Um, 
And yeah, I could do the DLC first. Obviously, your first thought would be, well, why don't you just do the DLC first? Well, because then I have to do Lost Isolith afterwards. And after the DLC, Lost Isolith would be like a kick in the balls, pretty much. In terms of like general experience. What the hell? Where did... Okay. I don't know how I'm missing a giant ass crystal. Jesus Christ. It's supposed to be like an archery master here. Um Yeah, doing Lost Isolith now would just be like a little not tap, whereas after DLC it would be like a full kick. A full powered kick. I don't wanna experience that. Yeah, this thing does a lot of damage over range. Plus we have the Hawk Ring. It doesn't really have damage drop off. That's like the biggest advantage it has. See, that's even at that distance, it's 206. Interesting. Do the it really seems like the big crystal pillar on their backs doesn't have a hitbox. I did not know that, by the way. I have to be careful. What the hell? Oh, we could also... The Hydra reminds me, we could also do... What? This is bullshit. And you just gotta get close to this thing. This is a weird hitbox, always had. Well, that's all we needed. And actually, no, 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 there isn't. I was gonna say there is a sweet spot where he can't hit you with the water attack. But I don't think there is. I thought there was. Come on, fuck off. I want the melee attack, please. I don't know who came up with that with that attack. That's gonna. <laughs> okay. See, it's kind of possible. This gotta be well positioned, but the melee is so much less dangerous. Anyways, we can like out tank this thing at this point. And it's dead. Cool battle. That's all I can say. But you know, like this way, he isn't too bad. Just with melee, it can get a little bit annoying, especially if you don't have the right amount of damage. Okay. Let's do the golem stuff. Gold golem stuff. We're gonna have to quit and reload for that. At least I think this should be enough. Pretty sure, yes. You can just like edge along here. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. Jesus. This thing is actually very good. Let's look at the damage compared to the distance. I think only the great bows do more. Hey, Dusk, how about that? Must be hella uncomfortable standing in the like that deep water with a flowing skirt. Ridiculous! Like only a sociopath would stand there so calmly. Cause at least we have leather on, like, and hunter gear. That's at least somewhat of a compensation. She's just standing there in there like a sociopath, like I said. Okay, now next up is gonna be not this and Orlando, but oh fuck, that bonfire is inactive. Shit. Well, then we are going to the Duke's archives, right? Can you get back there from. Let me just think. You should be able to get back, right? I don't normally do it. So this is gonna be like an 
adventure for the both of us. Yeah, it's possible, I think. From here, right? This is the one that leads back to the start. Fuck. Just gotta remember you're not at a, like, beginning area here. Yep, cool. God, that does a lot of damage. It's pretty much the, like, definition of this area. God, that does a lot of damage. What up, bruh? Don't even think about doing anything shady. It's weird coming from this way. I don't normally do it. I don't normally forget to kill the... Whoa. Okay. Kill the Hydra by this point. That's usually what happens. Like half an army on me. So, anyways... This is who I'm here for. Thank you. Now we can get snatched by a shadowy limb and dragged to the past. Yeah, we can. Shit, and there's still time. I'm not gonna be able to avoid it. I'm not gonna. Hello there. I have no backstabs on elevators. Well, okay. Cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dark Souls. I love you. <sighs> I don't even have a bonfire near it. Shit. Shit, that's gonna be a long way. <sighs> Fine, let's do it. There's nothing I, else I can do. Wait, why, did, why isn't your quest line? Okay, now your quest line will be advanced, but this one I'm probably too lazy to go back up there. Alright, I think it's good to pick up from here, uh, from good old Quelag's realm. I think we are going to hit the Quelag sister uh, bonfire, because that gives you 10, so I don't have to waste uh, an extra humanity kindling, the one that's in front of the... Although I'm probably going to have to do it anyways, no? No, yeah, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do it anyways. Not like I'm short on humanities, it's pretty much an... Well, not an infinite resource, but I just have a lot of it. All right. Let's go ahead and I always forget which one it is. I think it's this one. It's just instinct. This is Dark Souls. Oh dear. It's a f everything goes off of instinct at this point. Okay, this guy's so fucking slow. Move. Move. Cool. God, it's raining outside. We had freezing rain. Almost had freezing rain this morning. Uh, <laughs> fuck it. Enter the covenant. I'm not even part of a covenant. I haven't been for the entire game. And we are going to know we don't have any. Cool. Well, nice to meet you. And speaking of... Fine bonfire placement. Although, you know, it's fair because you wouldn't expect people to immediately find this thing. I don't even know how the hell people found all this shit. Probably people... I know specifically remember some people went around hitting every single wall in this game. Um at one point, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, let's go ahead and kindle this bitch up. Uh, and with that, we are officially on the precip or precipice. Which one is it? Precipice, right? Or press, I don't know. Of Lost Isolith, uh, the last place I want to be. That's not true. This, I'm exaggerating this area a little bit, but it is shitty. It is shitty, it's just... Whoa, fancy. 
Just, you know. Something we gotta go through. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I don't know why I'm even killing these things. Um, these things are kind of insane. Uh, yeah, next episode we're gonna go through this place. Ceaseless, Demon Prince, Centipede. Their weapon is probably gonna be useless or somewhat useless against them. But we have our bow and arrow. Z. Okay. Watch this. Watch this snipe. 360 no scope. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.